and welcome back to The Average Today. We are testing out new Himmy gouache glow-in-the-dark colours in this mini palette, which is looking bloody incredible to me. I need to get it open so we can check it out. This is what it looks like. It's a mini version of the gouache colours and it's hopefully exactly the same formula, just glow-in-the-dark. Tiny package. And of course, we've got the classic tops of these to get off, which I absolutely love doing. If any of you have had these paints, you know the pain. So let's just try and get lids off. It's worth it for the aesthetic. Um, <laughs> the way this is coming out is kind of gross. So I try to keep as much paint in there as possible. Well, I don't have to be so I'm just gonna have to keep going and hope for a clean pool. Oh, look at that. Clean, sweet pool. That is a good one. Hope for the same sweet, clean pool. Okay, kind of, kind of. Again here. Oh, it's like magic. Last one. Oh. Top of other color to make a glow in the dark. These are what the swatches look like. If you can even see that on camera, there is like a slight pigment to them. So I drew this image out yesterday and it's a cat uh, on a rock in a small, like, I was gonna say puddle, but not really, <laughs> obviously. A little shallow lake, pond, with loads of green plants growing up behind them. And I wanted the green plants to be like, overgrown like they're massive they're bigger than this cat so i was thinking i could do like shiny stars here and maybe some like glow effects in the water and some glow effects on the cat as the sun is shining through that is generally what my idea is but first i wanted to ink this out so i'm going to be using this pentel ink brush pen because it has ink that when it dries it doesn't it doesn't smudge I usually use alcohol markers and like pencils, so this would be a good opportunity for me to practice my inking again. I quickly inked this drawing and I realized that I should probably try and rub out these little uh, marks from the pencil line, but I don't have a putty eraser, I don't know where it's gone, so I'm gonna have to just hope that the ink doesn't fade too much, but I'm just gonna Maybe rub it out slightly, keep the lines there a little bit for the paint. I think it could look okay underneath the paint, so it won't be too bad. Kind of gives it a sketchy vibe, so maybe, maybe it will look cool. I'm going to use some of my tempura gouache um, because I don't have my, my other gouache with me at the moment. From what I see online is that this stuff is generally used as like an over the top kind of colour. It's not used as a fully pigmented colour because as you can see it's very light um, so I don't think it would actually make a base colour. So we're going to have to colour these things ourselves. I just, I feel like I want to do kind of less opaque wash and more kind of watercolory aesthetic to these because I think that will work nicely with the glow in the dark at least hopefully it will I like to think that it is a summer's day in this cat's world but it's got a lot of shade and sunlight coming through these big leaves that are sitting under so I really want it to be like watercolor vibes not sure how well this sketchbook takes watercolour, but I'm hoping it's okay because, um, yeah, I'm just hoping <laughs> it's okay. Painted in a watercolour-y style for quite a while, so it's nicely, nice and refreshing, opposed to like this careful way that I would do it if I was doing just solid opaque gouache. It would be slightly more intense, I guess, because when I use watercolour, I like to get the marks to sort of create their own textures and things. I really want there to be a glow around this lantern here. So what I'm going to do is try to paint a bit more yellowy. And then I'll go in with the glow in the dark here to sort of maybe help to show that it's glowing. 
Maybe we can have even a bit of yellow on the water top. I've kind of forgotten how calming watercolours can be. It's just like very chilled. Take it easy. Let the colours like spread. I do have, you know, the idea that if I make a mistake, I can fall back on the fact that these are actually gouache paints so I could just go back in and go over mistakes because with watercolours you can't go over and over but with gouache it's so opaque that you can cover up mistakes. I'm gonna wait for this leaves to dry. I'm gonna work on puddle. <laughs> what are you why do I keep calling it a puddle? It doesn't make sense. Um, but I'm gonna work on the lake the pond? I think because I want to call it a pond uh, that I keep saying puddle for some reason which is not correct and I want to get the right like bluey greeny colour for this Okay, kind of liking the colours I'm going to make this more murky Paper is kind of buckling now but what can we do? I uh, want like this purple to be our deep shadows. So this tree is gonna be a deep shadow. It would be cool to have some sort of like glowing energy from underneath, but I don't know if that's gonna work. It's kinda looking cool, it's kinda looking cool. The yellow first for this light, or if I should add the the glow in the dark first. So I'm just gonna do both. So I'm gonna add the glow in the dark around. I'm pretty sure this will be covered up by the watercolor, but let's try it first on this little area. Okay, it's not letting me watercolor on top. So lesson learnt: try to do it afterwards. Mm, yes, I think I I'm enjoying this so far. We haven't really got to the bit of the oh in the dark, but let's see how it goes. I'm getting a bit nervous because I really like how this painting illustration is looking. So to then add something to it and it doesn't look good is gonna be such a shame, but you don't know till you try, right? So we gotta do it. I also want these fishies to come to life a little bit. Come on, come to life. I don't know if it'll be just some shadows of other uh, fish in the water. I want this illustration to give magical, sort of unearthly vibes. Like these leaves are much bigger than this cat, and I mean, you can obviously get leaves that are much bigger than the cat, but in real life. But I like the idea of it being like he's in this giant leaf patch that are just crazy bigger than him, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. I left the ink to dry overnight, so it should be, it, it's not smudged at all. Whereas yesterday when I tested it, it kind of smudged a little bit. So if you guys are wondering why sometimes your ink is smudging, it's maybe, well, if it, first of all, it might not be waterproof, but if it is, then just leave it for like a while not necessarily overnight but i think a good amount of time and of course we're gonna make this little cat ginger but what i want to do is these spots here that i've laid out i'm gonna put those as like bright ginger color so that's gonna be where the light is hitting and i want to try and do the glow in the dark thing on it so let's see if it works. Hey little Joanna kitties, it's so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna be very brave and just do yellow spots on him. Where I think sun is gonna be glowing. I think it would be more like a brownie. Okay, okay looking kind of cute. A bit weird, but you know. So in the name of science, you gotta try things once. Maybe you can have some on this rock as well. Okay, um, I think that's it for the illustration. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then we are going to test these glow in the dark 
delicious globby <laughs> jelly paints which you know maybe they'll be cool maybe they won't we gotta try it and we are ready for the fun part um adding globs of glow in the dark to these areas so i'm just adding lots of kind of color that's disgusting it is kind of gross <laughs> um globular glow in the dark to this area i don't know if i'm making it like too thin of a piece but i like the idea as well of having like something glowing down here in the depths so then when you turn out the lights it's a completely different image maybe i don't know Ooh, maybe that was too much because you can't really see it with the naked eye and maybe when you turn out the lights it's like bam okay for these stars uh i'm thinking this pink because i want to try it of course you've got to try the pink if it's uh happening so let me just not get that much on my brush and just go over these maybe some big dots in the middle i'm actually excited because it's just it's just kind of like i'm painting something i can't even see at the moment and i'm hoping that <laughs> when i do see it it will be very visible but you never know i might just not even see anything when i go to turn up the lights but you know hopefully it will be very obvious and these stars as well like i don't know if it's going to show up as a glowing shape or just like a general mass of glow so hopefully the stars will seen as stars if that makes sense not just like a blob of color hopefully it'll work i don't know you can i don't I think you guys can even see where i've placed uh glow in the dark so let's see i'll put a bl bit of blue here as well okay i think that's enough glow in the dark it looks like i've added nothing but believe me i have i think i'm just gonna add a few more details here and there but basically this is the final image and then I'll show you what it looks like tonight because I want it to be super dark. So when the sun sets, I will show you the overall look and you will see that now. Okay, um, I added some details. I also went in and added more bits of the glow in the dark because I did a little test, you know, with my hands and I could see that it wasn't really glow in the dark. So I'm gonna turn the light off and you're gonna see how glow in the dark it is now. So it's pretty cool, <laughs> you can't really tell what it is at all, uh, not a big deal, but I think it's quite successful if I had been more clever with the way that I was using the glow in the dark, maybe we could come up with something a little bit better, but anyway that's the end of the video, I hope that you guys enjoyed me testing these glow in the dark HIMI Mia Gouache and uh, See you next time, hopefully. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps me out. Thank you and bye.